Uh, many, many years ago, we met, I think, in Yaila, about uh, 10, 12 yes. years ago, when we have a, a common teacher, because we both mm -hmm. work with the Ascended Masters, yes. and we were at a seminar with Norma Milanovic, if you remember. I remember now. And we were up there on the, I remember you walked in because you were, you had some uh, beautiful clothes on, and I, <laughs> and I saw your eyes and I thought, wow, yeah. this, lady, this lady is quite special. And I remember during the course of those days, we were actually up on Hallingskyva, yeah. and we did a meditation mm -hmm. together, and Norma, she did a channeling from the Sandwich Master Kutumi. Yeah. Yeah. And as we were sitting there, there was um, a seagull, and this was in the middle of winter. It was very mm -hmm. cold, there was lots of snow and ice, and there was a seagull circling around mm -hmm. our heads. Mm -hmm. And Norma Milanovic looked up and she said, this is a sign of psychic powers. Within this group of people, there are, mm -hmm. there are crystal clear channels and very, very strong psychic powers. Mm -hmm. And I sat there and I was thinking, I wonder who they are. <laughs> yeah. And then we all went home. Yeah. And then after, after, I think about two or three months, I think we had a reunion. And it yes. was at your house. Yes. And I think that I must remember. have been around Christmas time or New Year time. Yeah. It was quite dark. And mm -hmm. I came to that reunion and I saw you and I saw those eyes again. And you introduced me as well to your colleague, Celia. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I spoke to her and I looked into her eyes, I saw this same wisdom that mm -hmm. I saw in your eyes and I saw the depth. And I mm -hmm. saw um, a, a, some sort of truth and a lesson. And I had already formed um, a, a very high opinion. And I began to I begin to respect you without really knowing you mm. so much. I just knew that this was this was a woman that I, I held in high regard. And then a few years ago when I wanted to bring in experts to my school who knew as much as or more than I did in the areas of their expertise and areas in which I would also like my students to be proficient, then I decided to give you a call and, and invite you here. Yes. And as far as the shamanism and the clairvoyance and the channeling mediumship is concerned, these are areas which you do very well, which I can do in my way, mm. and I invite you because they are so important to me, for my students to experience, mm. um, to have the um, to have the journey, because this, as you say, everything is energy, yeah. and this is part of some ancient energy which is lying within all of us. Yeah. And when it's awakened, it can bring us a lot of truth, and things mm -hmm. can bubble up from the unconscious mind, yes. and they can open portals within um, uh, the students and people that take mm -hmm. these journeys, and they can start to utilize it as a yeah. tool to become their own clairvoyant to, to have their own questions answered when, when they know how to do this and you do this in a wonderful way and that's why I keep um, re-inviting you back to the Paradigm mm. Academy to, mm. to work with us here. It is very interesting to be allowed to work with students in this way, Gillian. Mm. And I think uh, I, I returned a compliment but there are some people you look at and you don't know what it is but it's like you have known them forever, mm. there's something. Mm. And uh, I have seen what you have done through the years, the hard labor, the work, and my God, mm. I don't envy you. I see your office and I mm. freeze. Mm. So you took the hard, you took the hard task. Mm. Because to start what you did in the time that you did it, it was not easy. Mm. And it's really a respect for your integrity. Always wanted quality, always wanted the best. And uh, that is why I wanted to come. I, I felt it as an honor when you asked me to to um, to work with the students here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I, I actually, when people come to me on a private basis, and there are so many now opening up for healing, and they see things, they feel things, they are confused, they don't know where do I start. Mm. Then I said, you have have to start and do it properly. Mm -hmm. And I always ask them to phone your school mm -hmm. because I know that after a year, two years here, they have started a path and they are felt every step on the way and it's 
properly, it's education and it's it's good. It's mm. pure. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We are we are the senior ones, right? Yeah, we're the old girls. <laughs> we are the old girls. We've been what we've walked yes. the miles. <laughs> yes. We yes. blazed the trail. <laughs> we did. We yeah. did. And this is something you know. I think we're both working for the for the greater good for future yeah. generations for the evolution mm. of consciousness yes. and for the paradigm shift and yeah. I'm certainly very excited about uh, 2012 yes. and I know that you're doing <laughs> some very very special work yes. uh, regarding that and there are going to be some documentaries yes. which millions of people are going to uh, enjoy seeing mm. and I know that you're going to be, you're going to be really making uh, ripples of very very positive energy across this planet Hopefully, mm. hopefully. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Have oh, you got what you need? Well, I'd just like to uh, to ask Lily if, if there's any little insider secrets that you could that you could give us and uh, and the people that are going to be seeing uh, seeing this video on what it is that you're going to be doing in in 2010 and the uh, mm. and the adventures that you're going to be having. I was given a message, and I'm telling you, I wasn't even interested in 2012 a few years ago. Because I said, well, yeah, all these prophecies. But then I was to Sedona now, um, meeting some Hopi Indians, and then I had an energy streaming through me, and I knew that I was given a task. And that was somehow to educate people towards 2007. Now, it's the wrong word, not educate them, but rise their consciousness in such a way that all the, um, all the prophecies, all this fear that is out there, I felt that I had to contradict it. Mm -hmm. to, to make people understand that the power of thoughts can change anything. Mm -hmm. When enough people come together mm -hmm. and have positive thoughts, they can change whatever prophecy. Yes, there is a big shift in 2012. And, um, and that is for me a new opportunity to do things different. I don't know exactly what it is. On the journey towards 2012, I'm sure that I will learn more from my guides and from the people around me. But I am making document uh, documentary films, uh, traveling to places where the old wise one will talk about their beliefs and their way of seeing this. And then we will bring groups of people and we will work to rise the awareness, the consciousness. I, it is in the planning, but I am doing workshops already about this theme, the journey towards 2012 and beyond. Very good. And beyond. Mm. Yes. Mm. Lovely. Well, thank you for sharing that, uh, that secret with us, if you will. Yeah, yes, it you. is still a little secret. Yes. yes it is. <laughs> it is. Tooth back. It was a pleasure speaking to you both, and uh, thank you for giving up your precious time because I know uh, what a special commodity that is for the pair of you because you are uh, de demanded upon in many different angles and to, to, to get a few minutes with you really is a privilege for, for myself and also for the people that are going to be watching this video. So again, um, to some tech and... Um, and I can't wait to do the next interview sometime yeah. in the future. Yes, yeah. <laughs> in 2012. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.